So today I'm going to show you how to drill and tap aluminum. Uh, what I have here today is actually uh, just an anti-shutter valve from a uh, Volkswagen TDI. And uh, it is actually made out of cast aluminum. Now, what tools you basically need for the job is a, a drill or a drill press. A uh, drill press does make the job a lot easier. Uh, you're going to need a drill set, uh, a tap set, and uh, this is optional here, but a hammer and a, a center punch. Uh, basically what the center punch helps you do is, uh, is it creates an indentation in the steel and uh, it just keeps it a uh, drill bit on center and it prevents it from wandering. And uh, you could, you're also going to need uh, some way to clamp your uh, workpiece down just to prevent any accidents. Now as you can see I've already clamped the workpiece down and uh, what I've done previously is I actually took my center punch and I center punched a spot right there where I want the hole to be drilled. Now uh, I've already lined everything up so uh, there's no setup time right now. now. The tap I'll be using today is an M6 by 1 and uh, I didn't have any uh, metric drill bits so I'll be using Imperial and the size, uh, size drill bit I'll be using is 11 64 uh, Now there is a chart you can get to according what tap you use is uh, what size uh, hole you'll drill but uh, I just usually go by eye and uh, what I did here is I just uh, lined up the threads on the tap with the drill bit like so, I'll just put it over top and uh, as long as the V is still there and I just want a little bit more than that, and that should be uh, adequate for the uh, for tapping the hole. Now I've already added the tapping bit into the uh, drill press. Now I'll leave the drill press off because when it goes down uh, there your feed as you're putting the drill press down and while tapping it it's, uh, it's pretty hard to get accurate. So what I'll do first is apply some oil to the threads of the tap here. Just helps it cut a little better and does a nicer job provides a little lubrication and apply a little bit to the hole here. What I'll do then is feed the tap down. Now make sure you still have enough travel on your drill press if you're still using one. And then just simply apply enough pressure and then thread it in by hand. Then after when I'm done that, I'll just loosen the drill press up, the, uh, the chuck on the drill press. Put the back up, and then pull the tap up by hand. Now the reason I don't pull it back up with the drill press is considering this is such thin material there is a possibility of it pulling out the threads at the very top. So I just, just an added safety precaution. 